Yo, what's up guys? So we're here to go over the entire structure deck, our Warrior Strike. What the heck is actually in here? And actually, if it's actually worth purchasing or not. So anyways, we got the full list over here and I'll go ahead and go over the money cards, if you will. So basically the best card out of here uh, that is not a new card, basically a reprint, is Max C. However, it is banned in TCG, so we might not actually get this. There might be a placeholder for another card, potentially, just like we got with the E-Hero Dark Law deck. But nonetheless, Maxi is probably the only card that's worth anything. It's like three bucks. The rest are like only a few uh, cents for the most part. Most of the thing is like 30 cents. The only card that's going to be really worth anything in this for the most part is going to be actually be God Phoenix Gear Freed. And Roland can be a great addition to maybe other equipped decks, but for the most part, most of the stuff is just filler. So to make this video and sum it up really quick for any of you guys who are like, dude, I don't want to watch like a, a, a video that is like several minutes long. Don't worry, I'm going to make this a quick video. Basically, the cards you can splash into other decks are going to be this. For the most part, a lot of these other cards are going to be outclassed, and they basically have already had reprints or only are sitting at like a dollar or two. But for the most part, if you are actually interested in even picking up this uh, as a new deck for yourself, I would recommend just going ahead and getting singles. You can spend maybe two to three dollars, uh, depending on how uh, expensive some of these cards are. Basically, you're looking at really just picking up copies of Gear Freed. Uh, the Golden Bamboo Sword can be kind of a pricey card, at least as of right now. It's like still like a dollar. Uh, but for the most part, you can maybe build the entire thing for less than $10. What I mean by that is basically just buying three copies of uh, Gear Free, three copies of Roland, and uh, three copies of this. Uh, it's just going to be much more efficient overall. Uh, basically, the money cards in the set. Again, Maxi, we might not even get this. Knight of the Red Lotus, which is only like $1.50. Rose Warrior Revenge, which is like $1.50. Curse Bamboo Sword, which is $1.50. And then the Overdone Burial over here is also like a dollar. Uh, so other than that, everything is, again, it's going to be under a dollar. If you guys want to see gameplay of how this deck can perform, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below in the description box. You guys can go ahead and check out the gameplay. Uh, it's not like this whole entire like just three copies of the structure deck because as of right now there's just so many cards in here that are just not really going to be viable in 2019 like they're just either too slow or they're just outclassing a lot of these things you don't really need it really just comes down to uh go for a sold go ahead and summon uh god phoenix gear free but i do want to mouse over the cards really quick uh because this is a full spoiler list but i do know that some people just want to yo is this even worth picking up i would say if you are interested in picking it up if maxi is in here for the tcg and it becomes unbanned this could easily be a five dollar card and at that point if you're looking at like this card being a dollar and this card being a dollar and this card being a dollar and if you kind of add up everything overall it's maybe an okay ish and, and, and at that point still it's a very hard thing to sell because there's no other great reprints in here um, like I said, again, most of the stuff is only going to total your values up to maybe like $5. Again, that's if we don't get maxi. If we get maxi, yeah, maybe it could be worth like 8 bucks ish But again, it's just, I just don't see it. But anyways, God Phoenix Gear Freedom, you got the Sublime Knight X Paladin. This could actually be an okay card as well. Uh, but for the most part, it's just really too slow. Um, then we have the old classic Phoenix Gear Freed, Dark Storm Dragon, Avakir Chevalier. Um, and then we have the Heavy Knight of the Flame. Uh, Night Day Greffer Blazewing Butterfly, uh, the Kemi Critter Carbo Crab, we have the Knight of the Red Lotus, which actually technically didn't need a reprint. I believe we've only had one print of that card. And then we have Valkyrian Knight, Noble Knight Joan, Blue Flame Swordsman, Rose Warrior Re Revenge, Goblinberg, uh, Fairy Tale Rella, Maxi, uh, Violent Sphere, Rainbow Karibo, Gear Breed, uh, then Rep uh, Tenuous Supreme Magic Blade. And then we have Kylos Field, Supervise, Soul Armor, Magnum Shield, Noble Arms of Destiny, Overdone Burial, Cursed Bamboo Sword, Golden Bamboo Sword, Reinforcement of the Army, Gemini Spark Deck, Factory of Mass Production, Parallel Twister, Gemini Abolition, Battle Guard Howling, Gemini Booster, Gemini Trap Hole, Rocket Hand, The Deep Grave, Evocator Evik, and Crossover. This also can be a pretty decent card for other Geminis, but for the most part, again, I don't see this deck as a standalone being very competitive like you would have with, let's say, the Monarch Structure deck or anything like that, or the Salaman Great. It doesn't have what is necessarily needed in it to, again, just be like a really budget-friendly deck. Again, it just comes down to an Assault Spam deck. These are the cards right here. You're not getting double copies of these, but these are like the more generic cards that you guys can put into other decks. But anyways, wanted to keep this video short and sweet for you guys and kind of answer the question really fast. Is the, the uh, thing worth actually picking up? But let me know your guys' thoughts down below on this. Are you guys going to be picking it up? Or are you guys going to skip out on it? And if you are, uh, are you just going to go ahead and pick up the singles? Or are you going to actually buy the actual... Uh, deck itself. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell so you don't miss out on other videos like this if it's worth actually purchasing or not. But anyways, have a good one guys and I'm signing out. Peace.